Hello, teacher. Hey, Hi. Andres. Good evening. Take water. Take water. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Okay. That's last uh, dinner. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. the list Good evening, Melissa. How are you? Good teacher. What a headache. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Say something. Good evening, Carlos. Hey, Fatima, good evening. We missed you yesterday. Hello. Good evening. Okay. And Carlos, what happened? I am very busy this day. It's... Uh, mm. um, Say the. Mm. Que, y como nosotros estamos en el área de sistemas, entonces entran en freeze y pues tenemos que estar sacando todo lo que nos hizo en el año. Wow, en freeze. Freeze is, is la day stop, or no? Ajá, yes, correct. De oh. hecho, por eso mi compañero Marlon Serrano, por eso no se ha conectado para nada, tampoco. Porque todos nuestros clientes ahorita todos están haciendo cierres, entonces no, entonces casi y como las puestas en sistema son solo en la noche, a veces no me queda ah. chance de, de conectarme. Oh, ah. entiendo, entiendo. Ok. Good evening, Ada. How are you? Thank you. And you? Very good, very good. Cansada un poquito. Oh, really? Okay. Aha, yeah. uh -huh, Mrs. Rosales, welcome. And Cindy, what happened last night, Cindy? We, we lost you. Good evening. Good evening. I had a tired day. Oh, but you are young. <laughs> and what happened yesterday? We lost. 
es que estuve en un entierro y en una vela, entonces está demasiado tired. <laughs> Very tired. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, people, let's get started tonight with the first attendance. So, please respond when you listen to your name. Wendy Patricia Molina. Ayer. Fatima Epigenia López. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Ada Susana Cáceres. Present teacher. Good. Gerson David Menjibar. No. Madeline Gabriel Alfaro. No. Verónica Yesenia Enríquez. No. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. No. Andrés Alberto Orellana. Excellent. César Humberto López. No yet. Jacqueline Vanessa López. No yet. Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Present. Ok. Carlos Antonio González. Carlos Antonio González. No. Marlon Ernesto Serrano. No. Francisca Delmera Guillén. No. Liliana Melisa Olivares. Present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Flores. Not yet. And Maria Milagro Rosales. Present. Okay. Okay. Uh, last night, we finished with a presentation about a, this topic, about the emails, okay? About tips to write an email. So important things that you must consider, cosas que deben de considerar when you write an email. You know, but only one group sent me the, the presentation. Let me here, check here. Okay, on only Andrew's group sent the presentation. Um, what's wrong with this? Pero, uh, veo que faltan varios todavía. ¿Qué grupos tenemos ahorita? Que creo que ningún grupo está completo todavía de los de ayer, ¿verdad? Vamos a esperar un rato mientras vamos a arrancar con el tema de hoy. We're going to start with tonight. Topic is another topic about etiquette. Tonight we will be talking about etiquette. What is the meaning of etiquette? <laughs> etiquette at the workplace. Uh, what do you understand? Can when you hear the word etiquette? Any idea? Maybe the good behavior that you have to, to have. 
in a place or in, in the office, even in the table when you're eating or something like that, or in, in a restaurant or something like that. Okay, good behavior. Uh huh. That is called good manners. Good manners. Buenos modales. Um, that is the name of that. Let me write it here. So when we talk about etiquette, we are talking about manners. There are good manners and bad manners. Of course, we are talking about good manners. Yeah, modales. Buenos modales. Yeah. Uh, the other day we were talking some a little bit about that. Estuvimos hablando un poco de eso, de the good behavior and bad behavior at workplace. No, eso tiene que ver también con eso, no? Good manners and bad manners at work. Okay, um, so can you mention some rules of etiquette at work? Can you name some rules of etiquette at work? No idea? Maybe call the person for their name. Okay. Never use, um, ¿cómo se dice, Paul? Nickname. Never use nicknames. Okay. Always respect and, and say they, their names. Okay. Call people by their names. Llamar a las personas por su nombre. Okay. Don't use nicknames. That is good. That is good. Uh, what else? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? Respect the opinions. Ah, okay. Respect others' opinions. Mm -hmm. Good manner. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Why? Respect the areas de trabajo. Okay. Oh. Respect the working area. Office. Respect the office. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Your co workers' area or your co workers' office. Respect that. Okay. Why are these rules important? Why are these rules important? What happens if we don't have rules? What could happen? ¿Qué pasaría si no tuviéramos? ¿Qué podría pasar si no tuviéramos este tipo de reglas? Sería un zoológico allá adentro. <laughs> yeah. The movie. <laughs> The movie, the John Wick. John Wick. Que le dice, si no tuviéramos reglas, seríamos animales. Ah, we would be like, uh, we would be like animals. Ah, okay. Even though animals have rules. <laughs> wow, unos animales tienen, tienen reglas. No, when they are going to eat, the boss eats first. Ah, uh, cuando van a comer, primero come el jefe de la manada. But okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, we have an article here. Aquí hay un artículo. Esto es lo que nos toca trabajar este día. About good etiquette at the workplace. No? So tonight you need you need to read. We're going to read this article uh, 
about etiquette at the workplace. Good etiquette at the workplace. I'm going to read it first. Please try to pay, pay attention, I mean, and try to mark uh, new words, new vocabulary. Okay, vayan, traten de marcar ahí alguna cosa nueva que quieran saber en la medida que vamos leyendo. Lo voy a leer primero para mostrarles la pronunciación y luego vamos a trabajar los ejercicios que vienen de esta actividad. Ok, let me agrandar un poco esto. Enlarge this. Good etiquette at the workplace. Here. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay. Any question with this article? Alguna pregunta, alguna palabra, alguna cosa que le vamos a, a debe explicar. However, however, ¿dónde estaba? Dele, dele, dele. Más abajo, más arriba. Más arriba. Más arriba. However, 
Ah, ok. This. However. Ok. However is sin embargo. Sin embargo. However. Ok. ¿Qué más? In the paragraph two, uh, tercer renglón, con knowledge, good uh, knowledge. Necessary to knowledge. Good knowledge. Conocimiento. Uh, no, to have good knowledge. Okay. Tener un buen conocimiento. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. Hey. I want long This is that the last part of <laughs> Uh -huh. Do not talk low, loudly while eating. Do not talk loudly. Loudly while eating. Yeah. Loudly es, es fuerte, en voz alta, ¿no? Hable fuerte while eating. ¿No? Oh, Estar gritando o hablando fuerte en la mesa, ¿no? Loudly, fuertemente. Hablando de sonido. Loud. Ok. Now, we have four um, questions about the reading. Tenemos cuatro preguntas sobre la lectura. Ustedes las deben de responder. Dice, number one, if you know you are late, you should A, compensate the time, B, call the person you report to, C, not to do anything about it. Tienen que escoger la correcta. Lo mismo con las otras tres. Two, three, and four. Ok. Lo voy a enviar a trabajar en grupo y quiero que hagan dos cosas. One, respond these questions. Ok. Simple. But number two, I, I want you to take turns to read aloud. Para que lean en voz alta. Pueden dividirse el texto en párrafos. Okay. Tú lees el párrafo 1. El otro lee el párrafo 2. Y así sucesivamente. Practice reading aloud. Ok. Practiquen leer en voz alta. Ya. Y contestar estas preguntas. Ok. Y cualquier duda del texto también eh, la pueden resolver. Y luego yo les visito por ahí para ver cómo van. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. We have 12. Ok. Groups of. Ok, van a estar en parejas para que participen todos y eh, nadie se quede fuera. Entren por favor a sus sesiones. Join your small groups and read aloud the article and respond to four questions.
voy a leer porque está cortito. Va. Good right. etiquette of workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is the be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get you to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Also, import when you have a talk communication with employers or clients in any part of the world. In Mr. Case is necessary to have those honored of the workplace, email, ethical, other contracts. In the office email, you need to mention the user. Your Letter C, express Letter the C. Uh -huh. Letter C. Mm -hmm. Number three, which is not good, good etiquette. etiquette when talking on the phone. Is it the root, the other speaker? <laughs> yes, let it, letter B. Letter B. Mm -hmm. You recycle while you're editing it to work that you should. Eh. Mire, usted entró a cabal a las 8 ahora. No. no. Pasaditas. Es que ayer se supone que íbamos a entrar, ahí vamos a decir una diapositiva, pero yo entré tarde, entonces al final no sé si. No, no han pasado, ya... porque eso estaban mencionando, de que no estaban los, los grupos completos y que para mientras íbamos a avanzar con el tema de ahora. Y eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Okay. Entonces, después de esta actividad. Eh, se pasaría lo de las diapositivas. Ya una sola cuenta ahí. Vaya. La tres. Y which is not uh, etiquette queen. Works de esta. Ajá. Ajá. Es. Etiquette. Etiquette. ¿Logras escucharla? Sí. No, no la escuché, pero tú dímelo. Etiquette. Ah, ok. No se escucha en, en, en el tabú. Fíjate no. que no, 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 no la escuché. No la escuché. Uh -huh. Micrófono, altavoz, igual que el sistema. Pero es etiquette. Ok, bueno, pero ya etiquette. lo averiguamos. Etiquette. Ajá, okay. ok, ahí está. Digamos. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette. Why, why, ¿Cómo me dijiste? Guidelines. 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 But mm -hmm. the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, emergency that is okay. However, Habitual commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you communicate with employer or clients in any part of the world, in those cases, it is uh, necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of our country. In the official email, you need to mention the subject clearly and the content and the and be conscious you also you also need to include all the important details to show use formal and grammatically correct language for emails 
in addition con lunch no sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra Okay, welcome back. Well, any question about the reading, about the article? Any question about the pronunciation of some words? No, those. ¿Estamos bien con la pronunciación? No. Pues más o menos, teacher. Ok, a ver, ¿cuál es? This? Teacher, how do you say etiquette gilden, gildenis? Ok, esto, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Etiquette guidelines. Guidelines. Guide, de guía, como tour guide. Guide un guía line. turístico, ¿verdad? Line line. 
Viene de guía. Guide. Guidelines. Todo lo que tocas. Etiquette guidelines. Yeah. Guidelines. Repeat, please. Etiquette guidelines. Etiquette guidelines. Etiquette guidelines. Okay, exactly. No. Thank you. So, I guideline guidelines. Puede haber para diferentes cosas, ¿verdad? Etiquette guidelines, como las pautas, como las. ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Y, y emergency? Emergency. 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 Uh -huh. Ok. Emergency. That is, that is ok. Ok, a ver, ¿alguna otra palabra? Se pronuncia whoever. Ah, how, however. 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 Uh -huh. However. Y más, however. Más, más unidito, however. However. Uh -huh. However, habitual latecomers. However. Y appreciate. Appreciate, appreciate. Ok, recuerda, este es un verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Appreciate. Appreciate. Pero como está en pasado, ¿se acuerdan esto? Se pronunciaba como id, esta ed, ¿verdad? Appreciate. Appreciated. 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 Yeah. Appreciated. 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 Mm -hmm. Are never appreciated. Appreciated. Okay. Y concern, concerned, así, concern, concerned. A ver, ¿qué dijimos de esa terminación, Ed? Que termina en I. Ah, nunca él, ¿verdad? No, esta es, No, esta no termina Las que terminan en T, P, K Dijimos O oh, oh, las que terminan en T Es I, ¿verdad? Esta termina en N Esta es Concerned D Concerned. 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 The concerned authority. Concerned. Authority. Concerned. Concerned. Tengo que repasar ese tema otra vez. Sí. Sí. Mm. Claro. Vaya, en la... Hoy tengo algunas, un par de sesiones libres todavía. Como a las diez y media. Ay, ¿qué es ahora, teacher? Ya, yeah, es difícil. Más temprano no tiene, teacher. Como a las siete de la noche mañana. <risa> a ver. Es fácil, milagro. Ponga una quesadilla y café. Llega a las diez y media. Ah, sí. No, si yo tomo café, amanezco con los ojos bien abiertos. A ah, verdad, no le quita sí, el sueño por completo. Definitivamente. Que le mande la quesadilla por Uber Eat Milagro, que se la mande. No, se la voy a mandar por WhatsApp. Eso. Uy, ay, ay. ay. Solo para dejarme picado. <risa> ok. <risa> ¿Alguna otra palabrita? Knowledge. 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 Así Knowledge. 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 Okay. Muy bien. A ver quién me quiere leer el primer párrafo. Yo. Ok, milagro. 
Acepto correcciones, por favor. Bueno. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, ¿Cómo se dice esa? Emergency. 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 That is okay. However, habitually, commerce are never appreciated, appreciated in any organization. If you were to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette good line will be to call the concert, concert, ¿cómo es esa? Cons concerned. Concerned. Mm -hmm. Authority. Authority? Authority. 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 And report the the yes, reason uh -huh. reason why you are late. Okay, very good, very good. A ver, yo uh, algunas palabritas. Vamos a ver esta verdad que sé que les está costando. Sí. Guidelines. Guidelines. Uh -huh. Guidelines. 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 <coughs> okay. Esta. No es boot. boot. No, no, es como. Entre la O y la U. Exacto. But. 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 But the most important. But. But. Most important. But. Most important. Mm -hmm. but. Esta verdad que la, la fuerza va aquí. Emergency. Emergency. La fuerza va aquí. Va. Emergency. Emergency. Uh -huh. okay. uh, ¿Qué otra? ¿Dónde está? Appreciate. Ya. Yeah. Acá en esta la H no es muda. ¿Verdad? Usually en inglés suena como una J. Habitual. Oh, como hotel. Exacto. Oh. Hotel. Hotel. Aquí mismo. However. ¿eh? No However. Es duda, ¿eh? oh. However. Habitual late commerce. Habitual late commerce. Yeah. Habitual. Mm -hmm. uh, responsible. 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 Mm -hmm. eh, organization. 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 Uh -huh. organization. 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 Okay. A ver, second paragraph. ¿Quién me lo lee? Me. Okay. Adelante. Okay. Etiquette is also important. When you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world, in the, those in those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other country. In the office emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use norm, formal and grammar, grammar key, correct language for emails. Okay. Veamos. ¿Cómo se está? Etiquette. 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 Uh -huh. Etiquette. Mm -hmm. Esta. Employees. Exacto. Employees. 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 Mm -hmm. Employees. Ok. Es Esta es la, la, de la última párrafo que ella leyó después de important. 
¿Cómo se lee esa palabra? De tolls. No, al principio ah. de la esa, esa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Details. Ah, details. Details. The important details. details. Important details. Mm -hmm. Y uh, grammatically. Okay. It's grammatically. Grammatically. Yeah. Grammatical. Grammatically correct. Grammar grammatically correct. Mm -hmm. Grammatically correct. Um, esta? Clearly. 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 Uh -huh. Clearly. Clear. Clearly. Clearly. Sí. Clearly. Concise. Concise. Uh -huh. Clearly. Clearly. Ok. Ahí Karen, esta no se la escucha del todo. Also. also. Lo repito. Also. 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 No, a esa palabra me refería. Also. 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 Uh -huh. Ok. Yo dije also. also. Sí, algo así. No, pero es also. 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 Ok. You also need to include uh -huh. Also. Okay. Who is number three? Yo, yo, Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline, go ahead. In right. addition, in, se escucha. Sí, sí. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point dur during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervis supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a avoid ground interpretation ok a ver. a ver in addition uh, this word essential essential is very essential is very essential Okay, essential. Uh, essential. Esta? Yo dije during. Eh, exacto, por ahí la, la U en inglés rara vez, creo que nunca suena U. Ah. ¿Verdad? Sino que es como el U. During. 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 Uh, during. During. Uh -huh. during. during. Diferente acá, ¿verdad? Hour. Hour. Tampoco suena hour, ¿verdad? No es hour. 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 Aquí sería during our daily work. During. 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 Our daily. During. During. Uh -huh. During, During our, our daily, daily work. Okay. During our daily work. During our. Acá es diferente porque acá, bueno, tú lo leíste interrupt. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Como digo, la U rara vez suena U. Este es una casi como O, interrupt. No. interrupt. And do not interrupt. interrupt. And do not interrupt. interrupt. Exactly. Interrupt. Mm -hmm. Interrupt. Uh, y esta. Wrong. Wrong. La W se ignora. Wrong. Ah. Wrong. Uh, wrong. 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 Y la que está antes. La que está antes. Esa. Esa. Avoid. 
avoid. Avoid yeah. wrong. Avoid wrong interpretations. Wrong. Avoid Esto es como, wrong. Como, como escribir, right. ¿Verdad? El verbo escribir. No se dice right, no. La W no, no suena ahí. Right. 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 Avoid wrong Avoid interpretations. Right. Ok. A ver, next paragraph. ¿Quién? Ya nadie. Me teacher. Ok. Go ahead, Andrés. Si quiere, lo elijo yo. No, ya está. Andrés. No, ya digo Andrés. Ah, ah. <risa> Andrés. <risa> ok. My touch, Jacqueline. Etiquette <risa> guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say excuse me and that receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manner okay. are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines and play a very vital role for future promotion. Okay, good. Um, etiquette guidelines are important. How did you read this? Andres? Even. Even, yes. Even. Even when you are this? Celebrating. Ah, okay. Celebrating. Celebrating. De, la T es un poco más suave. Celebrating. Ajá, uh -huh. celebrating. Celebrating. Okay. Rara vez la T suena así fuerte, ¿no? Excepto como, como acá, ¿no? Tú, ¿verdad? Pero así en medio celebrating. Como acá, eating, ¿verdad? Eating. So, vean, eating. es una, un sonido un poco suave. Ok, uh, ¿qué otra? Uh, esta. Uh -huh. Loudly. Loudly. Loud. Loudly. 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 Loud. Loudly. 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 Yes. Um, por ahí está. Mouth. 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 Ya, yeah. tiene que diferenciar entre ma mouse y mouth. Este último sonido es como, como un Z. Como Z. Sí, este último sonido, TH. Mouth. Mouth. Exacto. Mouth. Mouth. Your mouth. Uh -huh. Y esa otra palabra, chef. Chef. Ah. Chu. Chef. Chu. 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 Close your mouth when you chew. Como a chew. Uh, chew. 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 Este es un sonido che fuerte. Chew. A chew. A chew. Sí, sí, exacto. When you chew. Sin estornudo. <laughs> sí, como dicen por ahí en rolón, por favor, no en spray. <laughs> ok, esta Show Exacto, ¿verdad? Show. No, no show 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 Exacto, show Sin la L Sin la L Show Show And finally this Main No Manners Manners. Uh -huh. Behavior and manners. Behavior and manners. Manners. Okay. Teacher, la de antes se dice behavior. 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 
behavior, behavior and manners. Mm -hmm. Are under observation. Observation, okay, very good, very good. So, it's important that you practice, ¿saben? Pueden practicar, grabarse y escucharse. A ver si se entienden lo que están diciendo. No, es, es bueno. Okay. Okay. Now let's check your answers. Number one, if you uh, you know you are late, you should what? Call the person you report to. Exactly. Okay. Letter B. Letter B. Number two. What is a tip to apply in official emails? Letter C. Let's breathe the subject clearly. Okay. okay. Express the subject clearly. 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 Mm -hmm. Express the subject okay. clearly. Number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Interrupt the other speaker. Ah, okay. Good. And number four, if you receive a call while you're eating with co-workers, you should... What? Ignore la llamada y siga comiendo. Pues sí, está comiendo. Yes. Ignore. Por decir que si es hora de almuerzo tiene que ignorar y seguir. Ignore the call. Bueno, y que es que de hecho así hacen con uno las empresas. Cuando llame en hora de almuerzo, le contesta. Ok, ok, pero no es lo que dice el, el, el artículo, así es que. <laughs> letter C. Letter C, ah, letter C. Leave the table and answer the call. Ok, muy sí. bien. Okay. Llegó la hora de la presentación, teacher. Yes, time for your presentation. Así es que... Eh, y la de nosotros lleva dedicatoria. Ah, de verdad. Yeah. Bueno, entonces comienzan ustedes. Pero <risa> voy a pasar la asistencia y es la hora de la segunda asistencia. Ok, Wendy, Patricia Present Molina. Teacher. Thank you. Eh, Fátima y Figenia López. Present teacher. Ok. Present. Ada Susana Cáceres. Present, teacher. Ok. Present. Ok. Gerson David Mengíbar. No. Madeline Gabriel Alfaro. No. Verónica Yesenia Enríquez. No. Eh, Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Welcome. Eh, Andrés Alberto Orellana. Ya se fue. Ya le iba a poner falta. ¿sí? Comerse la quesadilla, suele. Todavía la estoy esperando. La se les envía, ¿eh? Esperando la moto, está. César Humberto López, no. Jacqueline Vanessa López. Present teacher. Ok. Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Present. Present, present. Aquí estoy. Uh. Carlos Antonio González. Present. Ok. Marlon Ernesto Serrano. No. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Ay, no entró. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Present. Ok. Karen Stephanie Flores. Present, teacher. And María Milagro Rosales. Present. Ok, a ver, eran, ¿cuántos grupos hicimos ayer? Tres, ¿verdad? Yes. Bien. ¿Quién comienza? Pero estamos incompletos, teacher. 
teacher. Ajá. Estamos incompletos. Sí, estamos incompletos porque en mi grupo este iba Wendy, que aquí está, y Francis. Ya, yeah. pero bueno, démosle. Pero la, pero la tenemos, ¿verdad, Wendy? Ah, pero Wendy está en... Sí, en, pero sí. En, en mudo. Yes. Ok. Está. Yes, ahí está. Pero en el, en el caso de yes, Ada... Yes. Ada solo está solita. En el caso... No, en el caso de Ada y el mío, César es quien tiene la... Él tiene la, la presentación. La presentación. Ajá. Ah. Yes, yes. Vale, ya le vamos a escribir a ver si aparece mientras están los demás. O por lo menos que la mande. Que nos la envíe. <ríe> y eh, Andrés, ¿cómo está? ¿Está el equipo? Dormido ya. Andrés, ¿sí está el equipo? And Andrés hasta la mandó por WhatsApp. Yo la vi. Sí, aquí la tiene, bárbaro. Va, entonces... Iniciamos nosotras. Ustedes comienzan. Perfecto. Vamos a ver. Pueden compartir pantalla. Allí, Wendy Patricia. La mera mera. Excuse me. Excuse me. Problemas técnicos. <laughs> Technical problems. Technical uh, problems. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Good evening. My group is Francis and Milagro and I. Effective emails. I start in the next uh, one by one. Number one, always include a meaningful heading and subject along with a bright outline of what the email body will include. For example, request for reference, action, to be completing for your information. Next, Milagro. Uh, number two, always address the reader in a professional man manner. If you are not sure who, who the reader is, you can see the example on how you call address them. You should make it as personal as possible. As it said, it's a teacher, possible. Possible. Possible, thank you. Mm -hmm. Example, dear Miss Rowe, dear Mohamed, to one it white concern. Next. Okay. Next. Number three, prune up the main point in your email. The open sentence. Think about, for example, think about what you would like the read next. What action they need to take or how the information you are sending is also for them. Number four, do not use our capital capital or all a small case unless referring to a no acronym. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra, teacher? Acronym. A acronym. Acronym or term that is familiar to the reader. Example, y ese montón de letras que están ahí, que no sé qué son. It's capital letter. C-S-D-O. In capital. Okay, next. Number five. Always, always, always check your grammar before sending and never use a slang. Text speak colloquiums. For example, lol, 
Wag, wine, W, U, U, P, two, L, U. For example, love you. Number six. Always keep lingu language professional. If necessary, ask a friend, a friend or college to proof read before you send the email. Example, could it be possible to request this information from you? Number seven, be concise and polite. Always remember to use please and thank you. Number eight, always check for spelling, grammar, punctuation, and any careless mistakes. Ex example, careless mistakes are more difficult to identify to attention to the toys is necessary. Number nine, always use paragraph. Ensure that the email is broken up into paragraph and not reading as an inside. Number 10, add a signature block at the end of the email to ensure the reader has details in how to contact you. Example, Emma Watson, BSC Sociology and Criminology, a second year a student ID 0600002365. Next. And finally, the example is uh, the email. Subject, English class, Merry Christmas, respectable companions, Harvey, I am pleased to inform you that all are cordially invited to the Christmas party that Mr. Saul will give in honor of all of us. <laughs> the party will be at the Sheraton Presidente Hotel on December 24 of this year. Gala dress, you can bring the member of your cluster. Please confirm your attendance. Atete, Wendy Molina, Francis Dillén, and Milagro Rosales. Extension, X. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. Prepárese, teacher. <laughs> My goodness. I'm throwing that party. There's a lot of money. <laughs> Too much money. Teacher in chat. Well, <laughs> I'm going to charge yeah, the invitation. Um, $50 each. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. A los carretones que están afuera no para invitar. Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you, Wendy and Milagro. Very good. Now, Andres and your team. Hey, teacher. Oh, Cesar is here now. Apareció Cesar. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. Welcome, Cesar. <laughs> yeah, see, sí. oh, todo lo que estaban hablando de él. Viera Cesar, todo lo que han dicho. <laughs> Pero no, eran irresponsables. no, que lo estábamos extrañando. Pero me están zumbando los oídos desde hace rato, hombre. 
<laughs> okay, nice presentation. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Good evening. That the, the presentation that tips to write an email in the best way. Ten tips that help you. Tip number one, be free to put a clear handling and be free in the body of the mail. The tip number two, if you, if you do not know who the sender is, contact him by his profession or in a court, courteous manner. Sir or Miss. Tip number three. In the subject, you must make it clear what the email referred to. Tip number four. You must know when to use capital letter and if, you, if possible, always write in lowercase. Tip number five, check your grammar before submitting and never use popular language. Tip number six, always check if the emails in professionally writing before seeing it. Tip number seven, begin and never forget to place Please and thank you. Tick number A. Always keep in mind to chat the grammar, grammar and spelling before sending the email. Tip number nine. Always write in the paragraph. And tip number ten. Always put your contact information at the end so that you are always identified. Accept that email. Subject, about English class. There, Mr. Montoya, we refer to you on behalf of Group X from the English class from Monday to Friday from 8, 8 to 10 p.m. To thank you for your time and dedication despite the pandemic that has affected you all. Once again, grateful for their support. We say goodbye. Jennifer, Karen, and Andres, good night. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. It was a nice work, nice presentation. And very good job. Excellent. Good, and good, finally, good, 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 good. the Lisa. group we were waiting for. So, I think Cesar is ready or is right now finishing giving the final touch. Yes, teacher, ready. <laughs> okay, very good. Go ahead, time is yours. Okay, in this moment, uh, I share uh, our presentation. Perfect. Um, Espérame que se me ha la compu. <laughs> Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, can you can you see me? Yes, we can see the presentation. Okay. Good night, everybody. Uh, our presentation is communication at the workplace. 
the professional email. Number one, hidden. Always include a clear subject of the email body. Number two, reader personalization. Use a polite and respectful salutation, salutation to make it as personal as possible. Letter T, the main point, uh, the round of the main point of you email in the opening sentence. Number four, use of capital on small. Use capital when the acronym or term is familiar to the reader. Otherwise, do not use it. Number five, grammar. Before you send your email, please check your grammar and never use slangs, text speak, and collections. Number seven, professional language. Always keep it language professional. If you think you need a second opinion, ask a freedom Freedom or college to prove this your email. Number seven, consist and polite. Be consist and polite. Always remember to use, to use, you use, please and thank you. Number eight, careless mistakes. Checks for spelling, grammar, checks for spelling, grammar, punctuation, and any careless mistakes. There are 10 paragraphs. Always use and think. Number 10, signature. Signature. At the end of the email, add a signature block to ensure the reader can contact you. And this is our example. So we are sending to you, teacher, a, a gorgeous email. Dear teacher, it is a pleasure to, great, to greet you and wish you success in your work. On behalf of Cesar, Ada, and Melissa, we want, we want, to, we want you to ask for permission to miss class next Friday, 11th because we are going to assist a convention in Costa Rica. Thank you. Sincerely, Cesar. <laughs> so okay. we, are gonna, we are not going to take the class. <laughs> Good. No problem, because we're going to finish on Thursday 10. <laughs> 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 okay. Very good. Very good. Ya tenemos permiso. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Porque no tenemos el boleto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, very good. Good job, people. I enjoyed your, your presentations and your emails. Okay. Now, uh, coming back to our topic about etiquette. Okay. Uh I will number you from one to, how many are we right now? 12. Mm. Okay. Um, because I'm going to give you some information. I'm going to send you, uh, I'm going to send to WhatsApp some information about do's and don'ts at the workplace. Cuando ven ustedes do's and don'ts, se refiere a cosas que sí se deben hacer, son los do's, ¿verdad? And don'ts, cosas que no se deben hacer. ¿Ok? Do's and don'ts. Example ahí en pantalla. Ya se los voy a, se los voy a enviar. Eh, Entonces van a, van a tener una lista de do's, cosas que eh, good etiquette at workplace, good manners, okay, things that you must, you should do, no must, you should do at work, okay. And the other list 
are don't. Don't do this, don't do that. No, esos son los don't. ¿Verdad? Por eso se llaman do's and don't. Eso lo van a ver de cualquier cosa. Do's and don'ts in your relationship. Por ejemplo, en una revista pueden encontrar, ¿verdad? Do's and don'ts in your relationship. Eh, cosas que sí deben hacer y cosas que no se deben hacer en una relación. Do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Eh, ok. Eh, in the administration of your money. ¿Verdad? Eso es muy común verlo en artículos, ¿verdad? Do's and don'ts. Do, del verbo do, ¿verdad? Cosas que hacer. Y don't, ¿verdad? Cosas no. que no hacer. Acerca de cualquier tema que ustedes quieran tratar. Entonces, este artículo que, que les voy a compartir es Do's and Don'ts at the Workplace. ¿Verdad? Un poco más detallado de lo que tenemos ahí en, en el libro. Entonces, um, solo les voy a dar, no voy a, bueno, de acuerdo, no de acuerdo a la lista, no, porque no están todos. Ok, los voy a numerar y el número que les corresponde, ese número van a buscar en el artículo y de ese me van a hablar. Ok, son 10 do's and 11 don'ts. Algunos probablemente repiten, ¿verdad? Porque somos más de 10. Entonces, ya lo mandó al WhatsApp. No, no, todavía no, todavía no. Ok, so Fátima, you are number one. Ok, entonces cuando okay. vayas a la lista, number one de los do's y number one de, de los don'ts. Ok, Melissa, you are number two. Andrés, number one. Teacher, Mel Melissa, number two. Okay. Andrés, number three. Ada, number four. Karen, number five. César, okay. number six. Wendy, number seven. Milagro, number eight. Cindy, number nine. Jacqueline, number ten. Okay. And Jennifer, one. Again, ¿verdad? Regresamos al one con Jennifer. Okay. Bien, ahorita les comparto... Para que vean este material. En WhatsApp, teacher. Sí, ahí, ahí les voy a compartir. Teacher. Hola. Tengo problema con mi teléfono. No lo puede poner aquí en pantalla, por favor. Ah... Teacher, ¿y qué es lo que voy a hacer con, con el número que me dio? No entendí muy bien. Vaya, ah, le vuelvo a explicar. Permítame. No, que Fátima es la primera. A mí me va a tocar hasta mañana. Qué mala. Es que hoy va a ir de abajo para arriba. Sí, sí. Es... Ah, no, no. Usted, no vale. usted siempre pide no. eso. No, señor. Ajá. Y yo, que me toque por último, que me toque por último. Espérame que me está cargando el WhatsApp. The last in the press. Yes. Los últimos serán los primeros. Gracias, Andrés. Yo no tengo WhatsApp. Ay, permítame. Um, 
cómo se lo envío en el agro por correo. Qué? No lo pone en la pantalla. No, no puedo. I can't. ¿Por qué? No. Regaña, es que mire, ¿no? mi teléfono está apagado y no me, me quiere regaña. agarrar carga. Eh, ahorita está en la compu. Sí. Bueno. De, se lo voy a enviar por correo, déme su correo. O, o escríbame. Si alguien me quiere dar regalo de Navidad, que me regale un teléfono. <risa> Vaya teléfono porque es a días. <risa> Una obra de caridad, por favor. Una colecta. Vaya, vaya, vaya como la cabuda, cabuda. Una colecta, una teletón. Ahí lo tienen ya en WhatsApp. Véanlo y me avisan. A ver, este. Compártame su correo aquí en el, en el, en el chat de Milagro. Yo le envío ahí el. Pero es un link que no carga, Tiche. Da error. No el carga el link. link. No error carga el link. link. Da Queda error. ahí. Da error. Ah. Todo por ayudar a Milagro. Hasta no. No, no. Ah, hasta sí, el perdón. Milagro, hasta, hasta el perdón. internet se ha puesto a su favor. Le mandé el, el, el que no era. Este es. Ajá, es que no no carga. Ajá. Ahí está ya. Ok. Yo te iba a desconectar en internet. <risas> Ajá, milagro. Ay. Ay. Give me your email. Yo no soy tan práctica, teacher, con la Computadora. Está en la compu, en el Zoom, ahí donde están tres puntitos, dice chat. Sí, ya va, ya va, ya va. Ay, Jesús bendito. Ahí está. Y para colmo ya se me va a pagar la compu también. Ay, Dios mío. <ríe> Conéctela. <ríe> Ay, no. Me llegaron las siete plagas. Vaya, ya me cargó, teacher. Ok, entonces ahí tienen do's and don'ts. Number one, eh, de acuerdo a su número, busquen el, el numeral suyo. Ya me lo mandó. Ahorita. Ahí le va. Ya va. Ya va de camino. ¿Por dónde viene? Por los chorros. Ya va llegando a Santa Tecla. Ah, va. <laughs> ok. There's only one do and one don't that you are going to talk about. That the number is that the 
the uh, door. Yes. O sea, una de cada uno, tenemos que ser uno de yeah. los que nos tocó. Exacto. Nice. Ok, entonces a mí me toca el number eight. Ajá. En la lista de los do's, number eight. Y en la lista de los don'ts, number eight. ¿Y qué es lo que voy a hacer, pues? ¿No va a hablar de eso? That read the, the number y that display that lo que uno entendió sobre lo que decía. Ya. Yeah. Okay. O sea, eh, hay que leer eso que me ha mandado teacher y luego dar una explicación de Ex eso. Exacto. No que tal vez el día teléfono pues. <laughs> Mire, quiere que le enseñe cómo está aquí, que me está pipileando y ya se me había apagado. Le volví a encender y está ahí, que ya casi. Deja de estarme quitando el tiempo, no ve que se me va a apagar otra vez el teléfono. Este André es malo. Malía. Ya ni cuenta me había fijado. En In English Teacher. A, a media me voy a quedar por culpa de él que me está molestando. Oh, este Andrés sí es malo. Ay, no. Qué raro que el teacher no se fue a cenar hoy.
Okay, are you ready? No, teacher. No. No? There's no. only one. One don't, one do. Teacher, yo, yo no entiendo muy bien qué es la diferencia de one don't y one do. O sea, cosas que no debes hacer, hacer y cosas que no debes hacer. Yes, usted ve, la primera lista son don'ts. En la mía, la 10, dice, lo una partecita, un párrafo habla de lo que no hacer y otro de lo que sí hacer. Exacto, la primera lista, workplace etiquette, the don'ts. ¿Verdad? Lo que no se hace. En la segunda lista, word, Workplace Etiquette, The Do's. Lo que sí se hace. Entonces se va a usar uno, según el número. Karen es número 5. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Uh, yo lo busqué. Gossiping, que supuestamente es chismorrear, algo así. Chismorrear. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? No sé, ¿Sí? gossiping. Gossiping. Uh -huh. Gossiping. No, number five, mm -hmm. it say, don't not gossiping. Mm -hmm. It says, not do gossip in office jobs. Wherever you're, you are tempted to gossip about your boss, co-worker, or the company in general, you only hurt yourself when you do. Sí. That's it. En la cinco es, es todo. No. Eh, en la cinco solo habla de las cosas que no se deben hacer y de hecho solo menciona una. Abajo está la otra lista, más abajo. Ok. Thank you. 
En la uh, cinco, en number five, eh, cosas que debería hacer. Um, it say that you should make a professional email and a personal one. The staff cannot always be present, presentable. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's number one, ready? Yeah. Fatima. No. Con algo, con el do, o, o con los don'ts, que son lo primero. Veamos primero los don'ts. Come on, Fatima, Fatima. <laughs> what is the first don't? If don't really have to email Shin. Uh -huh. eh, no es <coughs> eh, no es correcto because no es personal uh -huh.
Uh, okay. Only? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Don't number two, Melissa. Uh, don't have personal conversations at your desk. Uh, try not to have personal or private conversation at your desk. It might be at your desk. It might be a good idea to step outside so no one can hear what you are speaking. Okay. Thank you. Number three, Andres. Don't. 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 The number three, don't write your emotion to the office. If you cannot control your emotion, do not take them to the office because it is no very minor or overflow them as this will affect the in turn with them. Ah, okay, good, thank you. Number four, Ada, your microphone, Ada. Don't be afraid to ask a question. Asking questions, no matter how silly they may seem, will help you do clarify expectation and the avoid erroneous complaint and the project only, only recite you did it a wrong. For example, if that you don't like the fruits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number five, Karen. Don't, do not gossip at work or about your college, your boss or company. You will only get hurt yourself and you do, you should, you should make a professional email and a personal email. Oh, Start. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Right now, only the don'ts. Only the don'ts. Only the don'ts. Okay. Okay. Good. Do not gossip at work. Mm -hmm. or about your college, your boss, or the company, you will only hear it for yourself. Okay, good. Number six, Cesar. <clears throat> okay. Uh, don't use emojis or multiple exclam exclamation marks in work emails. In case of work emails in some workplace, uh, the conversation can be relaxing, but you should, you should always have a certain level, level of formality to demonstrate uh, profession, profession, professionalism. Mm -hmm. if, if, you don't, if you do not know the person to want the, to want the email while be sent, uh, don't be used. Don't uh, sería, don't should be use emojis. Okay. Good. Number seven, Wendy. Don't talk back to your boss. Always show your boss respect in their all the moment and do your part not be sarcastic with them this is not say you can disagree with them about aspect of the job you you job is important and you will have the chance to clean the career a little someday, you will want to have uh, the boss, your boss in your corner to help to get here. You mm -hmm. need the boss help. 
Okay, very good. Milagro, number eight. Um, no lo tengo, teacher. No? No. Okay, tomorrow, Milagro. Okay. Good. Number nine, Cindy. Nervous <laughs> also don't overstep your boundaries. In the workplace, you often find yourself walking a fine line in how you present yourself. You want to be respectful, but you don't want to come across as very as vain stuff. You want to appear confident, but you don't want to overstep your bond. You want to express your opinion, but you need to keep them ready. Learning the balance will take trial and error on your part, but it's an important balance to learn. Okay, very good. Number 10, Jacqueline. Yes, teacher, el don't. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget an umbrella. This one might, uh, por favor me corrigen, sound silly, but it's important to be prepared for all, all of life annoyance. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Even at work, sitting in wet clothes all day is not fun. Walking around with coffee stained shirt because your coffee lid popped off is not fun. Talking to someone with spinach stuck between your teeth from lunch is not fun. Keeping an umbrella, spare, spare pair of shoes, dental floss, and even a change of shirt in your desk or the trunk of your car for emergencies can be smart. Okay. Lo vamos a explicar en español. No. No, 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 no. Okay, and number one, uh, again, please, Jennifer. Okay. okay. No repeat to email, email stream. Be careful when answering the email, check the contact no, if the information you send everybody. No, 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 no. The other arrive early to to be not the side in the right away, always be punctual because if you were to be before and don't after. Okay, you read the do also. Yes. Okay, we're going to stop here tonight, people. It's 10.01. And I need to take the last attendance to continue with the uh, personal sessions, okay? Maria Milagro Rosales. Maria Milagro Rosales. Ya se fue. Karen Stephanie Flores. Presente, Char. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Carlos Antonio González. Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa López. Present. Thank you. Andrés Alberto Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres. Present teacher. 
Uh, Fátima Efigenia López. Present teacher. And Wendy Patricia Molina. Present teacher. Teacher, servió de mí. Um, sorry. <laughs> ah. Sí, sí. ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde aquí está? estoy. Ah, aquí está. César Humberto López. I'm sorry. Present. <laughs> ok. Por cierto, contigo voy a las 10, ¿verdad? ¿O no? No. Ah, no, con Cindy. Sí, es cierto. Conmigo. Con Cindy. Ok, bye bye. Have a good night. Salimos de esta sesión, sí, y hay que entrar a la otra, ¿verdad? ¿no? Ok. Hola. Póngame mi asistencia final, porque se me cayó el internet. Aquí estoy. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ok. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.